Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the first semi final between New Zealand and Pakistan. It's going to be played at the Sydney Cricket Ground, and we have lots of information for you. A new segment in these three upcoming videos, and lots of prizes. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to carry you through the preview. Yes, thank you so much as always for having me. Hope everybody's had a good rest day. Uh, always good to have refresh the batteries for. Ranting again on fantasy and life, but uh, yes, so far so good. As the line says, "Form say must be nahi. Let's continue that. Yes, absolutely. And Sydney should be interesting conditions. So let's see what we have in store in terms of that. But before we get to that, we have a jersey giveaway winner to announce. And this is the jersey giveaway winner, Vettri Silvan. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Is the winner? He he got. The amount of points correct for the Zimbabwe uh, game, and yes, you are the winner. So please do DM us on Twitter your address and contact details, and we'll have the jersey sent to you as soon as possible. And for all of you who didn't win, there is another giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that, and let's look at venue conditions first up for this game. So the game is going to be played at Sydney, like we mentioned. And what we have seen typically at Sydney is more help for spinners than at any other venue. And we have also seen the fact that whichever team is batting first has won till now. So while we don't typically say this in Australia, the toss might play a crucial role on this ground. Yes, and actually it is something that many teams also try. That uh, in pressure games they tend to bat first because hmm. they know the pressure of chasing is. Far different as it is in a in a bilateral as opposed to a multi-nation tournament like a World Cup and mm -hmm. in a knockout. So, just uh, now, until we talk about so far in this World Cup, six from five games batting first won. The one game chase won. That was also Sri Lanka. It was very important. Australia won and England won. So, one of them, Jaima Tadi, won the bowling power play. But after that, England took took time. It took a lot. So that all. And it also and they took random wickets just to point to both of our miseries for the Grand Leagues. But uh, see, that is the point. That both of pace of spin game are there in the second mm -hmm. innings also. And batting second has not been easy. I'm assuming it's going to be a fresh pitch, but still, be thoda wo jo nature hai the pitch ka poto detail hoga. The first batting average score 165, 170, and then you defend well with your spinners. Right, and interestingly, that England Sri Lanka game, that pitch was used for the third time in a row. So hopefully, it is a fresh pitch because if it's not, then you can expect the game to go in similar trajectory. So pitch report will be important. While we don't recommend watching it for their opinions, you should watch it to know which pitch is being used and how the dimensions are for that specific game. And uh, before we get to the base team for this specific game. We hope all of you are taking active part in both the tournament and investment leaderboards because if you support the sponsor, the sponsor lets us create this amazing content for you. So ensure that you download the Fan to Play app now. Not only because they have crazy leaderboards, but also the best commissions in terms of low entry fees, higher reward yeah. pools, and best customer service and support. Because we are here for you. बिल्कुल जैसे हमने कहा देखो फॉर्म से मस्ती नहीं बेस सीन चल रही है तो उनका एडवांटेज यही होना चाहिए कि जब टाइम अच्छा हो ना तो रोटेशन करो कॉम्बिनेशन बनाओ और लीडर बोर्ड टॉप करो क्योंकि आपका जो मेहनत है उसकी मल्टीपल रिवॉर्ड्स है आपने इन्वेस्टमेंट लीडर बोर्ड में पैसा डाला वो पैसा ऐप पे है ऐप पे आप बेस्ट टीम बनाओ इस टीम की बेस्ट टीम भी आप देखोगे तो आपको डिफरेंस समझ में आ जाएगा कि हम क्यों ये ऐप प्लेटफॉर्म के बारे में ज्यादा बात करते हैं या क्यों उनके साथ कोलेबरेट करते हैं बिकॉज यू गेट दी ऑप्शन टू मेक द टीम दैट यू वॉन्ट टू एंड यू आर कम्फर्टेबल So that is a primary point of playing fantasy. So when you invest well, you will obviously rank well in the first leaderboard. And then when you make good base teams, if you rotate captain, vice captain, grand league, the options you have to get. So, sabi try karke you can lead top the leaderboard as well. So, sab jagah se win win aap ke liye. So please do ensure that you try it out. Yes, absolutely. And now let's look at the most important segment for you, the base team. <laughs> So this is our base team setup currently for this game, and like you can see in the keeping, we have gone with Conway and Rizwan, and in the batting, we have gone with Phillips and Babar. Now you'll have a key 
point to think about here that many of the like Babar and Rizwan not been in their fluent best. But keep in mind that because it's Sydney, Babar, Rizwan, Williamson, Conway, it might suit these guys in terms of pacing the innings because here you don't need 190 or 180 to win the game. Even 165, 170 has been winning you games and whichever of these two bat first from either Williamson, Conway or Babar, Rizwan might be at that advantage of being able to take their time because they will not be afforded that in a chase. Bilkul, so dekhe, <clears throat> jab aap khelte ho, there are two things firstly to keep in mind. One is the kind of team they are going to make and the other is the type of contest. Pura dunya semi-final finals khelega, no matter whichever game they play rather than Majority mm-hmm. will come with a very common team. So, if small league khel ho, common team is a risk liya, nahi chala, you will not get anything back. But, usi mein agar chal gaya, dekho, chal, chal jaya, to problem nahi hoti life mein. Problem mm-hmm. tab hoti hai, jab nahi chal gaya. So, contest accordingly join karna, mix in, as I said, bar always have variables in terms of mixed type of context join so that you have returns and chances better. So, I will say this is game particularly, we will also share a few options later. But try and play with multiple teams and multiple scenarios in your mind because, as we have seen, bad first is good. But if you think that Pakistan is very good in New Zealand, even if they chase, Hmm. So then you have to make a team according. So, two teams are going to be the condition that is going to be the same. The team that is batting the same, you have to do And the second team is the one that you think will win no matter the toss condition. So, in this case, the two players will be the same. Because they are key players. They are going to be the form of Mastini, Rizwan, and Glenn Phillips. Conway and Babar Azam, they both look okay, okay. Conway had one great hmm. round, but that kid also came in Sydney. So, as Vilay said, First batting, mein, they'll still be able to bite their time and go at a good rate. Pressure, under chase, shag or not. So please be very careful. In terms of kisi ko bhi ho. So just be that much careful about the scenario that you're dropping them. Yes, absolutely. That will be a very interesting call for you to take. And in the all-rounders, we have gone with Nawaz, Shadab and Mitchell Santner. Shadab is our captain and if he bowls second, he will surely be our captain in the team. And in the bowling, we have gone with Saudi, Harris, Roth, Bolt and Shaheen. All based on form and obviously, Loki is a very tempting option which we will discuss further on how and what scenario you can take him on the team. Now, that is a straight swap you can do. The point of taking Nawaz is the conditions are such that uh, you may see Nawaz not bowl if Conway gets out early. But if mm-hmm. Conway sir jaldi out, ho jate hai, to Nawaz could really have a very good time on that surface. So that is the yeah. upside potential Nawaz ka zada hai abhi ke liye. So that which is why he's in the side. Or uh, Santner hai, uh, Sydney hai. should be able to use. But or they go, shuru mein dal lenge wo to mujhe lagta hai. Babar is one ko after pace. He'll be the first guy they go to. So, in case you don't know player as a center or Namaz, you can match up the base for ball use. So, you hmm. could easily drop them for your safety, but back them in your very condition specific scenario. Too. Right, absolutely. We saw Santner even against England. They actively used him against Butler and Hales. And yeah. once Butler and Hales were out by then, they ensured that most of his spell is yeah. over. And you can see something similar happening in this game because Nawaz is not only getting promoted up top, but Shan Masood is also there in terms of left-handedness up top. So that will be something interesting for you to watch out for. And that is what our base team setup currently looks like. Now we have a new segment for you where we will tell you a few trajectories that we expect the game to go in so that you can set up your GL teams accordingly. So Nikhil Bhai first up will cover the New Zealand batting first scenarios and then I'll look at how it could go if Pakistan bat first. Cool. Over to you. Yes. So New Zealand bat first, the same name, uh, even in Grand Leagues, uh, in, the, in the previous videos. Finn Allen has had success in power play, but hmm. he's always had trouble against left arm seam. If someone is always out of the way, so, if you have a scenario, you can see that you have a high CC ritual. So, you can see that you can see that you can see that he has not got Conway out enough, but he has got Finale out. And he could easily take out Kane early as well. So, one hmm. scenario, GLK has a scenario, that you have Finale and Kane. So, you can drop it. 
and you take you make shine cha your captain or vice captain and then you have user and all rounders in your side so that you are covering for them for them getting the pass code now it could easily happen that they could promote somebody else at 3 and he gets out but that is a possible way of visualizing that shine cha takes two in the first over or two in the power play then they settle for a while then of course if you think conway that jaldi out ho jayega to nawaz ki bowling aayegi but agar conway out nahi hoga to nawaz ko apne team mein maarega Hmm. Because then they will not bowl Navas. So with then you can pack your team with Iftikhar Ahmed as well. Because then he could bowl to the number of left days that could come along. And I will not be surprised if Santan is also promoted in that hmm. uh, in the in the semi final. Because he's played spin decently. Attack करने की जरूरत नहीं है, but just one over करके score लेके आओ. So that is your one scenario where you are losing a very early wicket. Second hmm. is uh, so that in that scenario, Conway is a very handy vice captain option for you. क्योंकि वहां पे फिर आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे हो कि कौन में भाई साहब पूरा मैच खेले तो नाउ कम टू द सेकंड सिनेरियो फिनल एंड टेक्स ऑफ ही देन यू हैव टू जस्ट इनकैप्सुलेट व्हाट हैपेंड इन द ऑस्ट्रेलिया गेम के फिनल एंड चल जाता है आपको कैनो देता है वो हां तो वैसा थ्रेड आपको न्यूट्रलाइज हो गया यहां पे केन और कौन में को टाइम मिलता है सो इन फर्स्ट सिनेरियो यू आर गोइंग टू टेक मोर ऑलराउंडर्स एंड लेस बैटर्स इन सिनेरियो 2 यू कुड पॉसिबली टेक मोर बैटर्स Only one or two all-rounders job पर लगता है कि आके impact ना खेलेंगे कि आएंगे और सिर्फ मारेंगे and they'll get them to a very good score of 180, 190 क्योंकि यहाँ पे यार expect in the top three to come off और अगर top three come off कर रही है तो आपको शहीन शाह को drop करना है आपको नसीम शाह को drop करना है और आपको रखना है कि इसको हरीस रॉफ मोहम्मद वसीम और शादाब का because then these are the guys who might potentially bowl in the last seven eight और शादाब का हम को इसलिए क्योंकि next spinner उनको सिडनी का ग्राउंड बहुत पसंद है तो बोलने की जरूरत ही नहीं है अभी एंड ही कुड आल्सो बी वेरी हैंडी फॉर यू विद द बैट अगेंस्ट न्यूजीलैंड स्पिन सो दैट इज योर सेकंड सिनेरियो कि जहां पे फिनलैंड स्टार्ट दे देते हैं आपको एंड देन यू हैव केन कॉनवे सेटलिंग और फिर लास्ट पांच में सब आके सिर्फ मारते हैं सो दैट इज योर सेकंड ग्रैंड सिनेरियो अगेन ये काफी कॉमन लगेगा बट जितना इवेंचुअली इसी में से कोई है इट इज हु यू पिक फॉर दैट रोल दैट कम्स So, right, and I think if you see here, uh, one key thing that he is doing is he is when he is picking someone like Conway, he is also neutralizing out someone like Nawaz because mm-hmm. a common mistake that we make is we'll take two players who actually are supposed to tackle each other in similar roles, but if if it's a battle, one is going to win and the other is going to lose. So it's important for you to knock out the person who you expect for to lose in that team. Ha, and third is the 2022 Jaimata Series special team where you make Mohammad Nawaz captain. Because he will come on and dismiss Mohammad. Uh, Mohammad Khan will say what? Devon Khan is there. Devon Khan will fill in in the power play itself. So, but the third combination is purely on the toss. Who will toss? Me, if you think that New Zealand will be the best, yes, of course. That is your rating of the pitch, and not anybody else's. So, according to that, you can back hmm. spin and a lot of people. Because you know, Sydney is also going to play. Spin is going to play, but hold is also going to play on the surface. So, like we saw in the England game. थिक्शन आने विकेट नहीं लिए बल्ले हीरू कुमार ने विकेट लिए सेकंड दिन तो जरूरी नहीं है हर बार सोडी साहब भी विकेट ले ले सेकंड दिन टीम साउथ इन टू रेक हैवक एज वेल इन द सेकंड इनिंग्स बाय बट फॉर से दे स्टिल नीड अ स्कोर तो तीसरे में आपके ग्लेन फिलिप्स टाइप के प्लेयर आपके ऑप्शन बन जाते हैं कैप्टन ग्लेन फिलिप्स मिचेल सैंटर और ऐसे प्लेयर्स को बैक करा और एक ग्रैंडिंग ऑप्शन जो मैं बोलने वाला था वो इसी में है वो है 2022 स्पेशल माइकल ब्रेस ही कुड रियली मेरा हैव अ हैव अ बॉल एक जो स्टार्ट है उनके लिए जो रिसेंट सीरीज हुई थी दैट दीस टू साइज प्ले आई थिंक इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग ही बोल्ड यस ही बोल्ड 54 बॉल्स एंड डिड नॉट कंसीडर सिंगल बाउंड्री टू पाकिस्तान तो एंड गिव अवे जस्ट 30 मीटर रन्स इन 54 बॉल्स तो देयर इज मेरिट और हां सी इट कुड एंड इसी में द थर्ड द सेकंड पिक फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान आई साइड आल्सो कम्स इन दैट इज मोहम्मद हारिस हारिस साहब जो है ही लव्स प्लेइंग हिज शॉट्स तो उनकी एंट्री पॉइंट क्या होती है इस थर्ड सिनेरियो में दैट इज व्हाट विल डिसाइड कि आप चीज को कैसे वहां कहां पे पैक करोगे कि देन दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू लाइक मेक मल्टीपल सिनेरियोस बट ये देयर यू मेनी रीजनल ऑप्शंस है राइट माय 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 आई एम थिंकिंग क्वाइट मोर सिंपली एज आई डोंट हैव सो मेनी थॉट्स इन माय माइंड राइट नाउ मे बी पोस्ट टॉस आई विल बट द वन लाइक वन थिंग दैट आई थिंक दैट कैन हैपन विद पाकिस्तान इज दे बैट अप फ्रंट 
Rizwan and Babar bat for 8-9 overs and to be honest looking at their flow I won't expect them to score more than 60 or at the, on their best time in this tour till now and this World Cup so that is one scenario they bat 8-9 overs they neutralize Bolt and Saudi up top and then Ferguson and Sodi or Sodi slash Satna come and wreck havoc in the middle order so that is one way for you to make up your team where you take Babar Rizwan you don't back any of the Pakistan middle order and then you back the latter bowlers of New Zealand to do the job for you. Because one thing that I've observed is when Babar and Rizwan have settled up top, it's put more pressure on the middle order than help them. While the middle order in the second scenario, where if Babar or Rizwan, any of them go out early and the middle order comes in first, in that case, you'll be able to back the middle order to come good. And at the same end, then you can utilize your spinners out. You can leave someone like Satna or Sodi, especially if they are batting first because these are situations that we are discussing when Pakistan bats first either they have a great partnership up top and then implode in the middle order or then they lose one or two early wickets and then the middle order steadies the ship for them these are the only two scenarios that I can see with Pakistan one point that I'd like to call out even though I've really enjoyed Mohamed Aris's batting is that Tuskin Amar Rabada all have fed him the length that he wanted I don't think Saudi and Bolt will do that and that can lead to an early miscue. So maybe you want to back guys like Masood Iftikar to do the job for you in that middle order GL scenario. So yes, these are my thoughts about the two scenarios. I don't have a third one for now. And uh, let's look at the one golden Grand League option from the both of us. Go for True. it, sir. So, uh, I think both the options are obviously discussed once there. Hmm. So, the one option from Pakistan is Iftikhar Ahmed. Hmm. The guy's in form, playing the key role. Uh, no matter what happens with Baba Rizwan up top, Iftikhar should get to bat. Uh, so will Shadab. But Shadab hmm. will anyway be a common captain. So, Iftikhar Ahmed is an option there. Potentially, he could bowl a lot as well. We saw hmm. Pacers not getting enough overs because Iftikhar Chachu had. So we had to bowl. So uh, Chacham is the first pick there. And uh, from New Zealand, as I said, it would be perfect if it is Michael Bresol who takes them to the finals. Mm-hmm. So Michael Bresol. Right. And he's done a lot for them in this year. So it yeah. would be fitting too. Yeah. My two picks would be from New Zealand. If New Zealand bowled first, Lockie Ferguson. If New Zealand bowled second, it's Sodi. Simple as that. And uh, from Pakistan, Naseem Shah, because I feel he's due a performance and the way he bowled in the Asia Cup, he's not hit that level yet. But when he hits it, that big 3-4 wicket will come. So, those are simply my two picks. And now we have the jersey giveaway for this specific game. And we have a small twist to the giveaway in this game. You have to predict the number of runs that Babar Azam will score. But along with runs below that, also predict the number of catches that he will take. Because runs to sub 20-30, like that. But catches will be the real deal breaker. So whoever is the closest, basically example, if you predicted 30 runs and 2 catches and he hit 29 runs and took 1 catch while everyone else predicted 0 catches, then you're the winner. Or if you predicted 3 catches and he took 3, then... Then even if your runs are not close enough, then you are due the prize just for that. So, yes, that is the question for this game. So, looking forward to some interesting answers and also looking forward to some amazing GL combinations from all of you. So, go kill it in that tournament leaderboard because now you have all the scenarios that you can make. So, go for it and all the good luck to all of you. Yes, I'm glad we did not ask about the drop catches. Thank you so much. (laughs) Thank you so much.